electron arrangements in atom. Neil Bohr, along with Rutherford, worked together and gave a theory of how electrons are arranged in atoms. A simplified version of what was given by them are the following. The arrangement of electrons in an atom. Number one, electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed circular path called orbits or shells. They are also called energy levels. Number two, the orbits are filled starting with the one closest to the nucleus having lowest energy. The one which is furthest will have high, higher energy. Number three, the different energy levels or orbits are represented as capital letters K, L, M, N, O, P, etc. shells. Number four, the number of electrons in shells can be calculated by the formula 2n square. Here, n denotes the number of orbits or shells. First orbit is represented as k shell and can hold 2n square, that is 2 into 1 square equals to 2 electrons. The second orbit is represented as l shell and can hold 2 into 2 square equals to 8 electrons. Third orbit is represented as m shell and can hold 2 into 3 square equals to 18 electrons. And the fourth orbit is represented as n shell and can hold 2 into 4 square equals to 32 electrons. The last shell cannot hold more than 8 electrons. And the penultimate shell, that is the second large shell, cannot hold more than 18 electrons. Let's understand the electronic configuration by doing few examples. The first element is hydrogen. So it has atomic number of one. So it has only one electron. So we can write one in the first case shell. Helium has an atomic number of two. So we can write two in the first case shell. Lithium has an atomic number of three. That means it has three protons and three electrons. So two in the first shell and one electron in the second L shell. Beryllium has an atomic number of four. So two electrons in the first shell and again two electrons in the second shell. Boron has an electronic atomic number of five. So two electrons in the first shell and five electrons, sorry, and three electrons in the second shell so that's five carbon has six atomic number so two electrons in the first shell and four electrons in the second shell l nitrogen has an atomic number of seven so two elect two electrons in the k shell and five electrons in the L shell. Oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight. So two electrons in the first, first K shell and six electrons in the second L shell. Fluorine has an atomic number of nine. So two and seven. That is seven in the second L shell. Neon, uh, in an inert gas, has an elect atomic number of 10. So two in the K shell and eight in the L shell. So you'll see it has eight electron and having a stable electronic configuration. Sodium 
has an atomic number of 11 so two electrons in the first shell eight electrons in the second shell because last shell over here if i write it nine that will go wrong according to the rule the fifth rule the last shell cannot hold more than eight electrons so this is eight and then one so two eight one eleven electrons so sodium has an electronic configuration of two eight and one magnesium two it has atomic number of 12 so two eight and two aluminium has an atomic number of 13 so two eight and three silicon has an atomic number of 14 so two eight and four phosphorus has an atomic number of 15 so two eight and five sulfur sulfur has an atomic number of 16 so 2 8 and 6 chlorine has an atomic number of 17 so 2 8 and 7 chlorine is an halogen so it has seven electrons in the outermost valence shell argon another noble gas has an atomic number of 18 so 2 8 and 8 we can't again put it as nine and lesser number because the last shell cannot have more than eight. So they ha it has a stable electronic configuration. Potassium has an atomic number of 19. So two, eight, eight, and one. So here again, we can't put the third shell as nine. Suppose I put this as nine, then it will go wrong according to the rule why because the last shell cannot have more than eight electrons last shell cannot hold more than eight electrons so this shell will have eight and then the last n shell over here has one electron so i hope that is clear calcium atomic number of 20 so two eight eight and two so these are some examples of writing down the electronic configuration. If we follow the rules, then it's easy to write down the electron arrangement of the elements according to the K element orbits or shell. I hope you have understood it. The next class will talk about electronic configuration and that's a little higher level lesson